Hi, I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through my favourite hardware wallet which is the Ledger Nano S. I'm going to be showing you how to set up the device, how to add a new wallet and how to manage and organise your device also. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like as it really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you enjoy. And if you do enjoy it and you feel that it may benefit others, then please feel free to share. So for those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know that I always recommend storing your crypto, especially if you are holding large amounts of crypto on a hardware device such as the Ledger Nano S. Now there are other hardware wallets available such as the Trezor. Now I will be doing a video about that shortly and what I'll do is I'll put that in the top right hand corner as soon as that one's available. And one of the reasons why we use hardware wallets is the fact it's one of the most secure ways that you can go through and store your cryptocurrency. Essentially the hardware wallet does act as your private key. Therefore it's never exposed onto the internet. And the only way that people can actually access and get access to your funds using a hardware wallet is by getting hold of your recovery phrase. Now I'm gonna be going through the recovery phrase through the setup shortly, and I'll be explaining the reasons why you shouldn't store that online and how to actually store that recovery phrase. And one of the reasons why I like the Ledger Nano S is the fact that it does have a swivel cover on it, which means basically that it's slightly more protected as well in terms of actually damaging the screen. So you can keep it in the likes of a bag without the need to worry so much. And where can you actually go through and purchase your Ledger Nano S? Well, you can either purchase that from the likes of Amazon, and I'll put a link to the summary below, or you can also purchase that from the Ledger Nano S website. Again, I'll put a link to that in the summary below. I wouldn't really recommend purchasing it from the likes of eBay as you're not entirely sure that it is a genuine. And the Ledger Nano S that I'm gonna be using today is one that actually was giving away as part of a competition a couple of months ago, and I'll be announcing that shortly also. And I'll also be doing more giveaways in the future. So let's take a look at setting up the Ledger Nano S. So when you receive your Ledger Nano S, it comes in quite a nice box. It's very similar to the likes of your Apple kind of devices when you are receiving those. And what do you get in terms of actually opening the box? Well, first of all, you'll get your Ledger Nano, so it's quite nicely displayed. Again, like I said, it is that kind of little device. It has got that swivel cover that does protect the device itself and the screen here. And uh, what else do we get? We also get the USB cable, so with regards to the USB cable, that'll be your way of actually connecting to your computer and being able to use the device. You get a little tag as well and a little key ring that you can use, so you can hang it from your neck if you wish. And you also get a small little booklet, so it's all nicely displayed. And what's within that booklet will just give you a little bit of information. So when we open up the box, it shows me that it says that it has a no anti-tampering sticker on the box. It gives me a little bit of information about getting started with the Ledger Nano S. You then have your recovery sheet, so you're actually given three of those, where you can write down your list of 24 words which will be displayed once you actually initialize your device. Now I'm gonna be taking you through that in a moment, but one of the one things that I just wanna ensure that you do is make sure that you actually write it down the device Keep it somewhere safe, put it in the likes of a safe or something like that. Don't store it on your computer. As soon as you store these kind of recovery phrases on your computer, it's about as unsafe as an online wallet. So you're actually just wanting to ensure that it's kept away from any exposure online or in away from any potential hackers at all. And then to connect up your Ledger Nano S, what you'll need is you'll need to have your USB cable and you'll also need your Ledger Nano S. So you need to unswivel the case off of the Ledger Nano S, take the smaller section of the USB cable, and then just simply plug that into the end of the Ledger Nano S. You'll then need to connect up the cable into your USB port on your computer. Just in relation to the actual buttons on top of the device, you'll have a left navigation and a right navigation, which helps you to scroll through the different options on the device. If you click onto both the buttons simultaneously, it'll actually help you to confirm different options within the device. So now let's have a look at initializing the device and getting it working as set up. And the first thing you'll receive on the screen once you've connected that up is a welcome notice. It'll also tell you the differences between the different 
buttons on the actual device itself. So if you go through those and then you'll get an option to configure as a new device. If you click on to the tick button, and the first thing it'll do is prompt you to choose a new pin code. So what we're gonna do is enter in that pin code. Now, like I said, this isn't gonna be a live device that I'm using, so I'm gonna set up a simple pin code for the moment. And you can do more than four numbers. If you wish, you can choose six or seven or eight. But if you do just want to select the four pin code, you can do so. And then if you want to select the tick box, once you've completed that, what you then need to do is click onto the two buttons at the top simultaneously to confirm that action. Then what we'll ask you to do is confirm your pin code. So what I now need to do is re-enter in that pin code. Now what it'll ask me to do is write down my recovery phrase. Now you did actually have a bit of paper within the Legend Nano S box where you can write down your recovery phrase in that section. So please ensure that you, would like I said previously, ensure that you don't keep this on your computer and keep it offline. And it will be a list of 24 words, so do ensure that you do actually put these in the correct order as well. It's really important. And then they'll ask me for a list of words and ask me to confirm those words against what I've actually written down in my recovery phrase. It'll then say that it's processing. And it'll then state that your device is now ready. You're then presented with the main screen, so it'll have a few that are preloaded in terms of your different wallets. So you have the likes of Bitcoin, you have Ethereum, you have Fido UTF, and you have your settings in here. And if you do want to add additional wallets into your Legend Nano S devices, obviously you only have a limited amount of wallets available at present. What you need to do is head over to the ledgerwallet.com website. What I'll do is I'll put a link to it in the below. So what the link I've gone to for the moment is www.ledgerwallet.com slash start. And what it then shows me is how to get started with Ledger. And to begin, what I now need to do is select my Ledger device from the list below. So I've got a Ledger Nano S, so I'm going to click onto that. And it'll then ask me what I want to do. So what I want to do is go to configure my device. And it's quite a good website in the fact that it shows you the first steps with your Ledger Nano S. So it does show you where the USB cable goes. It explains the difference between the left and the right button. It tells you what the difference is when you're actually clicking both buttons. So like I said, pressing both buttons at the same time means that you wish to continue or confirm a different type of action and move on to the next screen or open up an application. And it just shows you a nice little sort of usability, how to go through update your Legend Nano S firmware, how to connect your Legend Nano S, choose a pin code, back up your recovery phrase, and go through and install your Legend Nano apps. So what I can do is click onto the button here that says discover the apps. And in here I have several different options. We're gonna be going through the management apps shortly. So what I'm gonna do is select Bitcoin and altcoins. And then I'm going to click on to get the apps. I'm going to select the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and go to install. And you can see here that it is supported by the likes of Windows, Mac and Linux. And what it will do is it will actually launch an app and it is a Chrome extension. So what I'm going to do is click on to launch app. And the first thing it'll ask you to do is to begin, you need to connect and unlock your Ledger Wallet. So what I'm going to do is connect that up by simply putting in my USB cable and entering in my pin code again, just to ensure that it is me that's actually accessing the device. Okay, and it's then asking me to update my device. I'm actually going to do that later, so I'm just going to come to later. And it'll then ask you which Bitcoin blockchain you'd like to use, and we're going to be selecting Bitcoin here for the moment. And that'll ask me for my address type. So it states here, following the segregated witness activation, you can now create a new address format with several benefits, lower fees, faster signatures, and enabling second layer solutions. It is recommended to switch your receiving address to this new format and migrate your legacy funds by creating a transaction into a SegWit address. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose SegWit. And it will then open up and synchronize my wallet. So this very simply is your Bitcoin wallet. So you have the ability to send. 
So you can send Bitcoins to a certain recipient address by entering in the recipient address, put in the um, account that you're actually debiting. It'll then state the transaction fees, which you can go through and you can change and customize. And it'll tell you the amount spent, which will also have the transaction fee showing in here also. Now, just in relation to sending any Bitcoin, so if you are sending Bitcoin, it will ask you to confirm any transactions and you'll also need to confirm that on your actual Ledger Nano S device also. Then in relation to receiving, now you don't actually have to have your Ledger Nano S connected to actually receive any type of Bitcoin. So if you would like to receive, you can obviously type in the amount and then share your QR code or share your Bitcoin address. And once you've then finished with that Bitcoin wallet, what you can simply do is just come out of that wallet and you can also just disconnect your Ledger Nano S using the USB cable and removing that from your laptop. Now, just taking us back to the ledgerwallet.com slash app site. So on here, we can also download the Ledger Manager. So that will allow us to install and remove apps on the Ledger device. So if we click onto that and then click on to get the app. And from here as well, we can see that it's also compatible with Windows, Mac and Linux. And we can go through and we can install that again. Once we've installed that again, we can launch the app. Now from this screen, it's where it allows you to add additional wallets onto your device. So you have the likes of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, you have Litecoin, you have Stratus. There's lots of different options in here, including Ripple in here, which is quite a good one that you can keep offline as well. So if, for example, we want to add Ripple onto our device, we can simply click onto the arrow that's pointed downwards in the green circle here. And it will then go through and it'll install the application for you. Now on the screen at the moment, it's now asking me whether or not I want to allow Ledger Manager. So I'm going to click on the tick box and it'll then state processing. Now, once I've actually gone ahead and installed that onto the device, if I then click through the different options on the Ledger device, I can then see that I now have Ripple available from the main menu. And if you'd like to remove one, for example, if you no longer want this FIDO UTF, you can then just click on the little bin icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click onto that now. And what it will then do is it will remove that from my device. So it just clears it up a little bit and helps you to organize your device. So if I now go through onto my device, and if I click through, you'll see that, that FIDO UTF is no longer available from the main menu. And if you then click onto firmwares on the left hand side under the store here, it will then state any new firmware that is available for your Ledger Nano S. And you then can go through and click onto install. Now, just in relation to the settings on your Ledger Nano S, if you go to security, in here you have the ability to change a few different options. So you can either set the auto lock to set to a certain amount of time, you can change the pin, you can shuffle your pin, and you can also set a temporary pass phase. So that was a very brief overview of how you go through and set up your Ledger Nano S. I'll also be bringing further information on my post on my website, which is at www.everybithelps.co.uk. I'll also be doing further giveaways in the future, as well as the giveaway for the Ledger Nano S, which I'll be announcing shortly. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please hit subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.